Hey folks, welcome to what I call Quick Bites with Robert Irvine. I travel over 300 days a year, and whenever I'm in a different city, I like to get a quick bite and catch up with somebody that I really admire. Today, that person is Bill Oakley. So Bill is a TV writer and creator of the cult hit Mission Hill. No, wait for this. He made his name as a showrunner of The Simpsons during his golden age. He's perhaps best remembered for writing steamed hams. And if you've never seen this, I gotta tell you, it makes me crack up and cry with laughter every time, and I must have watched it 500 times. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. I thought we were having steamed clams. No, oh, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams. The meme that won't die. Today, I'm gonna to talk to Bill about all that stuff he did before and what he's doing now in his new career as a food reviewer and influencer. We're gonna start that right now. But I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. Well, it's a little warm. So welcome, number one. But it might feels cold already, because these guys behind the cameras have already eaten theirs. For a burger that was cooked like 25 minutes ago, it's pretty good. That was good. Yeah. For me. It's the texture of the burger and the bun. Forget all the other stuff, the lettuce, tomato, yeah. all that stuff. But the burger itself is the key to the smash burger for me. Oh no. The one thing that I cook that I love, this recipe, he, have you ever heard of Kenji Lopez Alt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He did a recipe in the New York Times two years ago called Thin But Juicy Burgers that was designed to be what he called a good version of the Whopper. I cooked these burgers and they're magnificent and they're not smashed. Basically, it's like you, you sort of smash them before you put them on mm -hmm. the grill and then you cook them for 30 seconds on each side and they remain juicy and they are, they're not dry at all. And like he solved this problem. So now whenever I make burgers, at least when I can go outside and grill, because you can't do it inside, unfortunately. Um, I make those. Why I used to make- Why can't you do them inside? Because you have to have a grill, you have to have, you know, a grill, grill. No, you well, don't. You have to have, well, you just have to have a heavy pan. You're on the, on the road most of the year, almost the entirety yep. of the year. Do you end up eating a lot of fast food, junk food type stuff? No. I, when I'm filming, I'll have one McDonald's. I have one McDonald's, Big Mac. People are like, oh, he eats Big Mac. Yeah, I do, I love it. I have one Big Mac, strawberry milkshake, and french fries once a week. I do love chocolate, ah. which is a big thing for me. Fancy chocolate, regular chocolate? Any American chocolate. chocolate? Any chocolate. Um, if I go in my bag over there, I've got a uh, Mounds, I've got a Twix, I've got a, a Mars bar. My wife is really strict. I mean, tofu and all this. She's, a, uh, she's uh, lactose intolerant. And she tries to make me eat tofu and I'm like, don't even <laughs> come near me with that. <laughs> no, no. Where do, where do you get most of your ideas from? Where do you get your, what, what stimulates your thought process the most? You know, it's good for a walk. This is, it's so, the answer is boring, but it's going for a walk. It always works. And like, I don't think, I, I don't like to sit at my desk because sitting at the desk is for the typing when you already have the idea. The coming up with the idea never comes at the desk. Yeah. This scene uh, that you're so, that's become a, a, an iconic scene for 25 years. Um, and you know the one I'm talking about, because the meme yes. about it, and it's not the house burning down, it's the Northern Lights, right? Right, right. If you look on YouTube, there's thousands of people have reinterpreted it like if they make it like a Russian expressionist film, they make it like a silent, like a radio show, they 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 auto-tune it to old songs. You know these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. <laughs> oh no, but did Skinner Burgers, old family recipe. It, it's crazy, and I don't know why this particular thing got chosen out of all the thousands of things that the Simpsons have done. Yes, and you call them steamed hams despite the fact they are obviously grilled. You, uh, you know, the, excuse me for one second. Of course. And now I was like, I don't get any money for this, by the way. <laughs> but I was like, I gotta somehow capitalize on this. And my love of food, burgers, fast food, things like that. I am going to start using the phrase steamed hams 
as my trademark since I wrote that and as I transition into being a food person. You're gonna, you're gonna redefine how we look at, at hamburgers. I hope so. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, first of all, I'll say thanks uh, for coming and taking a quick bite with me. And uh, I've, got, I, I've got this clairvoyance going on right now. I can see us doing an awful lot of things together in the future. I'm excited. It sounds terrific. Appreciate you. Great to meet you. Stay tuned for the next one.